that cook shit in there. So crocodile's head swipe. Um, He's just trying to jump off the of Pretty much all he does all day is just swims up and down his territory, making sure there's no crocs in him, and tries to kill him straight away. And he's responsible for taking one of our crocs. Um, Stumpy, he's only got one leg. The rest of the pet. She's being really cautious at the moment, she's not even lifting her head out of the water. She's keeping an eye out. So that could tell us that there is another bigger croc around the around the boat that we can't see. And they reckon for every croc you see on top of the surface, it comes up by five. That coming off right next to the boat. Now it's called the minimum exposure posture, where you only have the top of your eyes and snout out the water. These crocodiles they'll do that when they're hunting to confuse their prey on their actual sides. And he's going to be able to hear, smell, see, um, and even feel the footsteps of his prey without his prey even without his prey even seeing it. Yeah. See that big white scar on the end of his snout as well. That happened um, last wet season. We get all the march flies and horse flies coming out. They sit on the crocodiles' faces and rip off all the skin so they bleed. You watch his eyes closely when he goes underwater as well. You notice the third eyelid flicking across sideways. Look, there's a little fluffy just about behind him there. A little tiny crocodile. What we call fluffy. It's pretty game coming out here. There he is. Look at that size difference. Fluffy, he'd be lunch for Cassie. So what you look for when he's about to jump is his head to tilt up like this tail to disappear down under him and then he'll start to launch his body up out the water. Now out in the wild when Casanova would do this for himself when he's hunting, um, it can take him up to two weeks to jump to the bridge. The fella used to go fishing up there pretty much every day and um, he thought he was right because he's been going there for, you've got to get someone to get down into the water. Because that bloke was actually knee deep in the water trying to get a fishing lure out. He was a local as well, so he should have known better. We tried to tell him, but um, he didn't listen. Clean, cleans out the bottom end of the gene pool. <laughs> natural, <laughs> natural selection. Yeah, it gets rid of the stupid. <laughs> we might try and get Cass around to the left hand side. Sometimes when we swap sides, you can hear he's um, hissing as well. He's getting a little bit annoyed with us or something around in the area. It's kind of like a crocodile's warning sign when they hiss. They do a big exhale out their nose. and um, The big males would do that when they're about to go into a fight or maybe about to have a go at something that they feel threatened by. He's actually been fighting recently with our neighbouring male, or his neighbouring male, um, Doesn't look like he's going to do too much else. 